This lecture is about regular expressions. We've already seen how the text functions sub, g sub, and grep can be used to manipulate strings and identify patterns that might be of interest. In this lecture, we'll talk about regular expressions, which extends the idea of searching for a specific bit of text to searching for a bit of text that might fit a more broad pattern. Regular expressions can be thought of as a combination of literals and meta characters. So to draw an, an analogy to natural language, think of literal text forming the words of the language and the meta characters defining its grammar. Regular expressions have a rich set of meta characters that allow us to search through strings to identify specific patterns of interest that might be very hard to identify with literals. So here's an example of what I mean by literals. So literals uh, consist of uh, words that match exactly. So for example, the literal nuclear would match all of these lines because nuclear appears here in this line, nuclear appears here in this line, here in this line, here in this line, and here in this line. So that's the exact letters uh, match in all of those different lines. The literal Obama would match all of these lines because it appears here, it appears here, it appears here, it appears here, and it appears here. So you can find it in each of these different lines and you can actually match exactly what you've observed. Regular expressions consist uh, in the simplest form of only literals. A match occurs only if the exact sequence of literals, literals occurs anywhere in the text being tested. But what if we only want the word Obama or sentences that end in the word Clinton or Clinton or some other uh, much smaller phrase like Clinto? We need a way to express white space and word boundaries, sets of literals, the beginning and end of a line, or maybe alternatives, things like war or peace. And so what we're going to use here are meta characters in order to specify these more general uh, search terms that we'd like to uh, be able to identify. So some meta characters represent the start of the a line. So for example, um, if you have a caret followed by I think, it will match the start of a line followed by I think. So that will match all of these lines. I think we all rule for participating and so forth. But it wouldn't match necessarily if the I think came somewhere in the middle of the line. Dollar sign represents the end of the line. So for example, if you have the phrase morning dollar sign, then that will match all of the lines here because morning is the last word in the line. However, if morning was a word that appeared only in the middle of the text, it wouldn't match. We can also uh, consider lists or sets of characters that will be accepted at any given point in the match. So, for example, you might have either a lowercase or a capital B, uh, B either a lowercase or a capital U, either a lowercase or uppercase S, and either a lowercase or capital S, H. So that will match all versions of the word Bush, regardless of which letters are capitalized. So for example, this version has a capital B, this version has all lowercase values, this version also has all lowercase values. Here we have another uppercase value and another uppercase value. So it will match any of those because it will match both lowercase and uppercase at every possible letter. The next thing that you can do is you can start combining these together. So for example, you can say, I want to look at the beginning of the line to see either a capital I or a lowercase i. So that will either match lines like this, where it's a lowercase i or a capital I to begin the line, followed by am. So what it does is it allows the beginning, the start of the line, either one of the lowercase or capital I, and then the literal am. The other thing that you can do is you can specify actually range of characters or range of letters. So if you put in square brackets A dash Z, that will match any letter from A to Z that's lowercase. If you do um, A dash Z lowercase or A dash Z uppercase, um, it will actually uh, look for any of the letters, whether they're uppercase or lowercase. So for example, um, if you make this search right here, it's going to start at the beginning of the line and it's going to look for a number between 0 and 9 followed by any letter. So it will match any of these lines because each of the lines starts with a number at the beginning of the line and is followed by a letter as the next letter in the line. Used in the beginning of a character class, the caret is also a meta character and indicates that it, will, it should match any of the characters not in the indicated class. So for example here we're looking at the end of the line with the dollar sign and we're looking for 
um, any line that ends in anything other than a period or a question mark. Because this means either a period or a question mark, and this caret means that it's not either of those two characters. So it'll match all of these lines because most of them don't have any punctuation, and some have exclamation points at the end.